The Giant Postman Chapter 1 He's coming! screamed a little girl. He's coming! shouted the ice cream man. He's coming! shouted the window cleaner. Children dropped their school bags and ran. Shoppers dropped their shopping and ran. Joggers stopped their jogging and ran. Soon the street was empty. It was so quiet you could hear a pin drop. Then there was a loud thump. And another, and another, thump, thump, thump. Great big boots cracked the pavements. Great big boots shook the houses. Behind closed curtains, people shivered with fear. Please don't have any post for us, they whispered. Thump, thump, thump. The giant postman was coming. Chapter 2 Billy and his mum lived at number 24. Get under the table, screamed Billy's mum. But Billy stood at the window and watched the giant postman stomping from door to door. Thump, thump, thump. The giant postman was right outside Billy's house. Bang, bang, bang. He bashed on the door. I've got a parcel for you, he bellowed. Just leave it outside the house, please, called Billy's mum. Oh no, replied the giant postman. I don't want it to be stolen. Bang, bang, bang. Billy quickly opened the door and hid behind it. Here you are, bellowed the giant postman, and he dropped the parcel onto the floor. Then he stomped off down the street. Thump, thump, thump. Has he gone? whispered Billy's mum. Billy peeped round the door. Yes, he's gone, he said. Then Billy walked out into the street. The street was still empty. Mr White's garden gate was hanging off its hinges. Mr Homer's cabbages were trampled to the ground. Mrs Atwell's cat was on the roof of her house, quivering with fright. One by one, the villagers appeared. Is it safe? they asked. Yes, said Billy. He's gone. But it's time we did something. Getting letters is supposed to be fun. We're all too scared to do anything, they said. Well, I'm not, said Billy. I'm going to write the postman a letter and ask him to stop frightening us. The crowd gasped. <gasps> and I'm going to deliver it myself. Chapter 3 that very day, Billy sat down and wrote his letter. Dear Mr Postman, my name is Billy and I live in the village. I am writing to ask you to stop frightening us, please. Mr Homer is very upset about his cabbages and Mrs Atwell's cat won't come down from the roof. We would like to be friends with you. Best wishes, Billy. He wrote Mr Postman on an envelope and put the letter inside. 
Then Billy set off towards the woods where the giant postman lived. Don't go, Billy, cried his mum. Don't go, Billy, cried the villagers. But Billy kept on going. Past the baker's, past the shoe shop, past the school, on and on until at last he reached the woods. The woods were very dark. Billy heard strange noises. Quick, crack, rustle. He began to feel frightened. Quick! He wanted to go back. Crack! But he made himself go on. Rustle. Faster and faster he went, until... At last he came to a clearing. There stood the giant postman's great big house. Billy was surprised to see that the garden was full of flowers. He walked up to the door. Chapter 4 Tap, tap, tap. Billy knocked on the giant postman's door. Nobody came. Tap, tap, tap. He knocked a little louder. At last, he heard footprints. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Then, Billy saw a giant eye peeping through the keyhole. What do you want? bellowed the giant postman. I've uh, uh, brought a letter, Billy stammered. What do you mean? said the giant postman. I deliver the letters. It's a letter for you, said Billy. Slowly, slowly, the door opened. The giant postman stared at Billy. He took the envelope and peered at it. Slowly, slowly, he pulled out the letter. He read it over and over again. Billy shifted his feet nervously on the doorstep. He was all alone with the giant postman. Billy felt very scared. Then he noticed that the giant postman was wearing slippers and had holes in the elbows of his jumper. Billy looked at his face and thought he saw him smile. But the giant postman turned away and closed the door without a word. Billy ran all the way home, through the dark woods, on and on until at last he reached his house. Oh, Billy, cried his mum, thank goodness you're safe. He read my letter, said Billy, but he didn't say a word. I hope I haven't made him angry. But that night, Billy remembered the garden full of flowers. He remembered the slippers and the woolly jumper with holes. The giant postman didn't seem so frightening without his uniform and his great big boots. Chapter 5 The next morning, Billy looked out of his window. It wasn't long before he saw people running to hide. Thump, thump, thump. The giant postman was coming. Great big boots cracked the pavements. Great big boots shook the houses. Thump, thump. Thump. The giant postman was right outside Billy's house. Get under the table, screamed Billy's mum. But Billy opened the window. 
Good morning, Mr Postman, he said. From his sack, the giant postman pulled an enormous envelope. I've got a letter for you, he said. Then he stomped off down the empty street. Thump, thump, thump. Billy ran downstairs. His hands shook as he took the letter out of the envelope. He read, Dear Billy, thank you for your letter. I've never had one before. I don't mean to frighten people. I'm sorry about Mr Homer's cabbages. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a clumsy, I'm a bit clumsy in my boots. Will you write to me again tomorrow, please? It's my birthday. Your friend, Mr Postman. Billy smiled and ran out into the street. It's all right, he said, waving the letter. You can come out. He danced up and down until a crowd had gathered round him. Then he showed them the letter. Never had a letter, said Mr Homer. Poor thing, said Mrs Atwell. He sounds a bit lonely, said Mr White. I don't think he's scary at all, said a little girl. I'm going to make him a birthday card. I suppose he couldn't help being clumsy in his big boots, said Billy. Just then... He had an idea. Chapter 6 That night the villagers didn't sleep. Lights burned in all the houses. Delicious smells came from the bakers. And loud noises came from the shoe shop. Bang! Thump! Brrr. Up and down the street... People climbed ladders and tied knots. Just as dawn broke, everything was ready. The villagers stood by their windows and waited. And waited. Thump, thump, thump. The giant postman was coming. Thump, thump. The great big boots stopped in their tracks. The giant postman stared and stared. Banners and balloons hung from every house and from every lamp post. The banners read, To our postman, a very happy birthday. The village band began to play. Drum, 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 toot, 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 toot. The villagers rushed out into the street, waving birthday cards. Billy came out of the shoe shop pulling a cart. On top of the cart was the biggest parcel you have ever seen. Happy birthday, Mr Postman, said Billy. This present is from all of us. Gently, the giant postman pulled off the paper and lifted the lid of the great big box. Just what I've always wanted, he gasped. The giant postman held up a great big pair of new trainers. Try them on, the villagers cried. So he tried them on. They're perfect, he said. They're so soft and springy. He walked up and down without a single thump. Then the giant postman smiled a great big smile. The villagers cheered. Time for a party, Billy yelled. Time for a party, everyone cried. The giant postman danced down the street. Time for a party, he bellowed with delight. This is the best birthday 
ever.